Welcome to Capturing the Sound of Berlin. My name is Timo Pries, and I'll be guiding you on this journey through sight and sound. A little background about myself. I'm a sound designer, musician, performer, and audio technology instructor. After spending a year in Edinburgh, Scotland, completing my postgraduate work in sound design, I moved to Berlin in October 2015. I've always been fascinated moving to new places and discovering the uniqueness each culture and location has to share. Being a sound designer, I've made an attempt to document the places I travel by recording their unique soundscapes. Somewhat like a photographer capturing images, I record sound, framing aspects of both the old and new. This could be simply roaming around the city taking in ambiances, recording drones of busy, bustling spaces, or one of my all-time favorites, exploring abandoned spaces. Berlin and Europe in general is brimming with fantastic history everywhere you turn. Some of the architecture has been carefully preserved, while other places have been left to abandonment and decay. While I enjoy visiting museums, cathedrals, and palaces of great splendor from time to time, I gravitate more towards the solitude of exploring abandoned spaces. It's easy to recognize that without a doubt, Berlin is a city like no other. Its rich history is vast and equally complex. A city which was heavily war-torn during the Second World War was further separated by the Berlin Wall erected in 1961. The dark past of the Nazi regime followed by the East German Soviet Stasi occupation has left its mark on the city and is a reminder to the people who live here. Despite the dark past, however, Berlin is one of the major cultural centers of Europe and is well known for its rich arts, music, architecture, audio technology, and science. Alongside, it's had a reputation for decadence and supports a thriving underground scene that's a haven for many bohemian artists. It's this unique juxtaposition of destruction and creation that I find makes it such an interesting place to live. After several days of research and scouting, my colleague Stefan Gunther and I were able to find two suitable abandoned locations to record. Accompanied by our trusty videographer Frank Zerbin, we were able to capture some interesting perspectives of these spaces, which I look forward to sharing throughout this course. One was a beautifully decrepit old ballroom that was built around the 1890s. Still somewhat intact, there's a piano residing in the main dance hall. This location was a hot spot in the 1930s for musicians to play. In the 1940s, it was taken over by the KDF, which was the state-controlled leisure organization for Nazi Germany. Today, however, long gone are the glory days when the ballroom attracted thousands of visitors. No more are the palm-lined outdoor dance floors where the guests could spend the summer evenings outside dancing and dining. As you can see, the building now is completely decrepit abandoned and quickly deteriorating, basically left to its own decay. The second location is an ex-Stasi counterintelligence headquarters in East Berlin. The building is 13 stories high, three massive blocks long, and mostly consists of empty administrative office spaces. A few artists, including myself fortunately, have been granted permission to use several of the storerooms located in a small section of the ground floor as studios or practice spaces. The cellar of the building is spooky as hell, to say the least. Made entirely of concrete, this abandoned section is lined with cells where the Stasi detained prisoners for questioning during the Cold War. The air there is stale and smells of dust, mildew, and decay. The concrete, empty rooms and long hallways create amazingly reverberant spaces for recording. I feel extremely fortunate that I've been able to capture aspects of these unique spaces sonically and visually. I'm equally excited that I'm able to share several of these adventures with you as I document my process of capturing and manipulating the sounds I've encountered along the way.